By studying the element carbon, they made one of chemistry's great breakthroughs. In 1796, Yorkshire chemist Smithson Tennant was investigating what diamonds were made of when he decided to burn one. Now, he used sunlight and a magnifying lens to heat the diamond, but I'm going to speed things up and use a glass blowing torch, and I have some liquid oxygen. Now, if I hold this then in the flame and heat it up, and there we have it, whizzing around, that's beautiful. The bubbles coming off were collected by Smith's and Tennant. They're pure carbon dioxide. Now, he knew that he'd started with just two ingredients, diamond and oxygen. And what he produced was a gas made up of just carbon and oxygen. So he knew that diamond had to be carbon. Now, that's almost disappeared. It's gone. That diamond doesn't exist anymore. It's in the air that I'm breathing. It's turned into carbon dioxide. So, unfortunately, diamonds aren't forever.